Well, greetings, everyone. It is I. I thought I'd show you a little bit of um, snare drum synthesis. Some people have asked me how I was able to make an acoustic snare with uh, just synths. And I thought I'd show you a couple of tricks. Well, first thing first, I'm going to use the uh, Bog Audio FM operator. You can use any oscillator, but this has built-in envelopes and everything you need, so it's very easy. And we shall start with just sine waves. And what you want to do for most things is to try to get a fundamental tone around roughly 200 hertz. So I'm just going to use my analyzer here. About 200-ish. And next we're going to introduce some partials which are in harmonic overtones. So maybe 450-ish, maybe, I don't know, 600-ish, maybe 900-something, nine, something like that. And we are gonna switch to the envelopes here. I've set it to zero attack around uh, 0.3 second decay and release and no sustain. And something you might want to do is to uh, make sure that the overtones are, uh, they are quieter and they are shorter than the fundamental frequency. So let's just try to adjust the length a little bit. So that's a decent starting point. Now, next thing we need is noise. I'm gonna send the signal out to another mixer. And I'm gonna grab some noise from uh, colors. I'm gonna send it into a spank. And I wanna shorten the decay quite a bit. And I also wanna add a little bit of attack time. to simulate the uh, the snares on the drum. They start vibrating a little bit later than the actual hit. Next thing we can do is to give it a little bit of uh, distortion just to glue it together and uh, bring out some more harmonics. I'm gonna use a shaper on the smooth algorithm. Also, you might want to brighten your noise a little bit to get uh, less low frequencies. Something like that. And what I like to do is uh, to grab another sh very short envelope and uh, modulate the gain on the distortion. It gives you a bit more attack. Now, this is starting to sound kind of like a snare, but it's very nasal and mid-frequency heavy. So I'm going to send this through, let's see, I'm going to add a uh, decline. And I'm going to look for a frequency around, around 1k. 800 to 1k is typically where it's pretty bad. Yeah, this area sounds pretty terrible. So let's pull a little bit of that out. And I'm going to find a frequency between 6 and 7. Roughly that area. I'm going to widen the Q and give it a gentle boost. should give it a little bit more presence. Next, we want to get the initial attack, just the clicky attack of the drum. So I'm going to grab the same noise. I am going to use a spank. I'm going to set the decay almost all the way down. 
and we're gonna send this to yet another mixer. So that's basically just the initial click of the drum. Here's before. And here's after. It's subtle, but it does make a difference in a mix. Next, I want to thicken it up even more, so I'm going to send it into a bit of a saturator. And now it's starting to overdrive nicely and bring out that tone. And for our final trick, we introduce a bit of reverb. I'm going to pull that down and I'm going to shorten it. Also, I'm going to go into the mixer and low pass just a bit. Let's get rid of that way too high, high end. And there's your acoustic snare. And what you can do is you can play with the harmonics to get different tones. And you might want to try to avoid using the harmonic series or musical harmonies, otherwise it might sound a bit synthy. Because drums have uh, very inharmonic overtones a lot of the time. So, how do you use this as a patch? Because this is a lot of modules for one sound. Now what I like to do is to, uh, to sample it. So I'm gonna pull up a a simpliciter. I'm just going to take my main, whoops, main output. And we're going to hit play. And let's just sample a few hits. That's good enough. Let's normalize that sample. And shut up. Thank you. And I'm going to export that. And now let's jump into uh, Cubase and edit this file a little bit. Import that. I'm going to chop this up nicely. And let's listen to it and hear what we have. Whoa. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. The last one sounds best to me. It's a synth, so it'll play a little bit different every time. This one has just a little bit more attack. I'm just gonna loop this section. So now we can keep processing this sound as much as we like to. You might wanna grab an EQ, do a little bit of high pass, get rid of the most extreme low end. Maybe you want to boost your fundamental a bit. Maybe get rid of more mids. Whatever you want to do. Whoa. Let me just gain this down a bit. Now we can start really shaping the tone. I'm going to give it a little bit of attack. I'm going to shorten the release substantially. You can go anywhere from here. Uh, you can export this, put it in a sampler, use it in a track, whatever you need to do. So that's one way to make a sort of realistic snare. And you can, uh, you can export it, chop it up, put it into samplers. Do whatever you want to do. You can layer multiples of these sounds and create, uh, create very cool sounds, actually. So I hope this was useful and I hope you learned something. Um, if you want to see more... VCV rack, sound design, Cubase things. Uh, you might want to hit the subscribe because I plan on, uh, on doing more videos. If you have any questions, leave them below. And uh, I will see you next time.